What's up guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Scotland squad for their four autumn test matches against Tonga, Australia, South Africa and Japan. So first of all let's just go through the squad here. So in the forwards we have Ewan Ashman, Josh Bayliss, Jamie Batty, Fraser Brown, Luke Crosby, Rory Darge, Matt Fagerson, Xander Fagerson, Grant Gilchrist, Nick Haining, Rob Harley, Jamie Hodgson, Ollie Kebble, Murray McCallum, Stuart McAnally, Dylan Richardson, Jamie Ritchie, Pierre Schumann, Sam Skinner, Rory Sutherland, Marshall Sykes, George Turner and Hamish Watson. And in the, the backs we have a Mark Bennett, Jamie Doby, Darcy Graham, Chris Harris, Adam Hastings, Stuart Hogg, George Horn, Damien Hoyland, Sam Johnson, Hugh Jones, Blair Kinghorn, Rufus McLean, Ali Price, Finn Russell, Matt Scott, Kyle Stain, Ross Thompson, Tioni Tui Pelotu and Duhan van der Merwer. It looks like quite a nice Scotland team and there's 12 uncapped players in this team of which who are Ewan Ashman, Josh Bayliss, Rory Darge, Dylan Richardson, Luke Crosby, Jamie Hodgson, Marshall Sykes, Pierre Schumann, Rufus McLean, Jamie Doby, Ross Thompson and Sione Tui Pelotu. That's quite a lot of uncapped players but part of that reason is because the first of Scotland's games against Tonga is outside the international window. So all of their players who play in England and in France will not be available for that game. So it's only the United Rugby Championship players who are available. I believe, I think there's one, one of the new caps, Dylan Richardson, plays in South Africa. I believe he's available for that game. He might not be, it might only be the Scotland players who are available, but I believe he should be available for that game. So who out of these am I the most looking forward to seeing? There are a few, and for me, who as, as an ex-back row, that's where I played when I was in school, I'm really excited to see what Rory Darge will do. Uh, for Scotland. He's been really good for Glasgow this season. I've described him as the Mish 2.0. He's really good over the ball. I believe he's got two Man of the Match awards in four games for Glasgow this season, which is amazing considering how young he is. I think he's 21 or 22. So I'm really excited to see him. But I'm also excited to see Ross Thompson play and Rufus McLean play and Jamie Dolby play. I'm not sure if Jamie Dolby will play, but let's get into that. I've picked Two teams, one that I think will play against Tonga and one that is my sort of first choice Scotland team if every from, from this squad. So let's take a look into that. Well, because Stuart Hogg's not available at number 15, we will have Blair Kinghorn. Say at number 14, we'll have Darcy Graham. At number 13, this is between Bennett and Tui Pelotu. I'm not quite sure who to choose there. I've gone for Bennett because I'm an Edinburgh fan and I'm biased, so I've gone for Mark Bennett. At number 12, I think it'll probably be Sam Johnson because I think the only other 12 in the squad is Matt Scott and he plays for Leicester, so he's not available for this game. So I think it should be, will be Sam Johnson. I guess Bennett can play 12 as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the only only 12s in the squad. I think Kyle Stain can play in the centres as well. My 12 is Sam Johnson. At 11, I've gone for Rufus McLean, again, because Duhan van der Merwer is... Uh, plays for Worcester now, so he's not available for this game. Ross Thompson at 10 because of uh, Finn Russell being away with Rassing. And at 9, I put Ali Price. I would have liked to have put Jamie Dolby in there, but I don't think Ali Price has played for Glasgow this season yet. He might play this weekend, but as far as I'm aware, he hasn't played for Glasgow. Hamish Watson hasn't played for Edinburgh either, uh, so I'm assuming that Price hasn't played for Glasgow. I don't think I saw him play at the, at the weekend when I was watching their game. So I've gone for Ali Price just because I think it's a bit harsh to just throw him into a game against a really good Australia side for your first game in however many months. So that's why I decided to put Ali Price in there, not Dolby. But I would boot Dolby on my bench for that game. At eight, we've gone for um, Matt Fagerson. At seven, we've gone for Hamish Watson again because he's not played for Edinburgh yet this season. Rory Darge at six because I, th I think he does play seven for Glasgow, but Scotland kind of play with two sevens Jamie Ritchie was a seven but because of Mish he's been playing six for Edinburgh and for Scotland for so long so I would play Rory Darge at six and um, I boot Sykes in at five and Cummings in at four for my two locks I guess you could put Grant Gilchrist in there or Jamie Hodgson in there but I'd quite like to see what um what Mar Marshall Sykes can do in a Scotland top uh, and I boot Xander Fagerson at three because I'm not sure how many games he's played for Glasgow yet this season I don't think it's been many if any I've decided to put Ewan Ashman in it too, because I've heard a lot of good stuff about him. I know he's really good at the under-21s. I think I believe he plays for Sale. I don't know if he starts for Sale, but I believe he plays for them. And I've all I've heard is good things about him, so I'd be really like to see him given a go. And against this Tonga team, which isn't even going to be a full-strength Tonga team, 
I think it's a good chance to give him a go and see what he's doing. And I put Jamie Batty in at number one because Rory Sutherland isn't available. Okay, so for my main squads for the other games, this is what I would say is our best team. It probably won't be the team that plays every single game of those three, but this is what my best team would be. So at number 15, I have got Stuart Hogg, who's of course the captain. At number 14, we have got Darcy Graham. At number 13, we have got Chris Harris. At number 12, we've got Sam Johnson. At 11, we have got Duhan van der Merwer. At number 10, we have got Finn Russell. At 9, Ali Price keeps his spot. At number 8, we have Matt Fagerson. At number 7, we have Hamish Watson. At number 6, we have Jamie Ritchie. At number 5, Grant Gilchrist. At number 4, we have Cummings. At 3, we have Fagerson, the other Fagerson. And at 2, I have Brown. And at 1, I have Sutherland. Now, I guess between Brown, um, McAnally and Turner, I think you could start all three of them. And it would still be a very good team, and they would still be a very good number two. But I've just put Fraser Brown. I think he's been on the best form out of the Hookers um, in the United Rugby Championship this season. But who knows? Ewan Ashman might uh, have a belter in the week before if he plays, and could make his way into that team. But that's the team that I have chosen for um, the best team that Scott have. Please do tell me what you think down below in the comments. If you'd like to see some videos about Edinburgh and Glasgow, I've got two on the screen right now and do subscribe if you are new around here but as always guys have a great day see ya